Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you 15 magical tricks in Microsoft Word. So in order to get a horizontal lines, just use three asterisk sign at the starting of the line and then press enter. Right, in order to get this kind of border line, just use three, three hyphens and then press enter. In order to get these swiggly lines, you just have to type three tilde at the starting of the line and then press enter. In order to get a double border you just have to press 3 equal to sign and then press enter in order to get this kind of line you just have to press 3 underscore and then press enter and then to get this kind of border line line just press 3 hash sign and then press enter at the starting of full line right now in order to create a blank table just use plus sign and then equal to sign to fill the the column and then plus sign and then equal to sign and then plus sign and then equal to sign and then plus sign so the number of equal to's will show you will give you the width of table and this plus sign will be a border of the table and if you're done then press enter to get this kind of table right so this is a cool example to create a new blank table in order to create a table from a data just use just separate the table with this in order to separate the column just use tab in order to separate the column just use tab and in order to get a new row just press and enter key once you are done you select the complete data then click alt a v x right and then press ok right so make sure that alt and a is pressed simultaneously and then v and x in quick succession this comma says that you can leave the previous key and then press the next key right so just use this kind of formula to get a quick table from a data right so this was our third example fourth example is to create a new row just go to the end of the last column in the last row and then press tab to get a new row so this was the fourth shortcut and the fifth shortcut is my favorite now many times you require to move a row up or down right so what generally people do is they copy the row and then create a new row and then just swap it right so the whole task is quite difficult just you have to select the row that you want to move up or down select the entire row and then press alt shift and then up arrow to move the row upward and down arrow to move the row downwards right so this will automatically move row up and down right so this is a very cool shortcut and the sixth shortcut is in order to get an arrows just use double equal to sign and then a less than uh, a greater than sign and then in order to get this kind of arrow just press less than sign and then two hyphen and in order to get right side arrow just use hyphen sign and then two hyphen sign and then a greater than sign right so this was a quick way of getting arrows now to get a smiley in microsoft word is quite easy it is same as you you use in your android phone or ios phone just yeah, type colon and then closing parenthesis to get this kind of smiley and colon and a vertical line of pipe to get this kind of smiley and then colon and opening parenthesis to get this kind of smiley right so this is quite cool feature if you want to include smileys in microsoft word now to get a copyright sign you just enclose c in between parenthesis to get register symbol just type r in between parenthesis and then to get a trademark symbol just type tm in between the parenthesis it will automatically get copyright registered and trademark symbols so this is one of the special is to get this copyright register and trademark symbol now going to the fractions which is our shortcut number nine just type one by two and then press space in order to get this kind of fraction so you can just press c right by four o and then press space to get it as a fraction now to get a long dash what you have to do is you have to type double hyphen in between words that you want to join by long dash and then press space so after pressing space the double hyphen will get automatically converted into long dash this again is my favorite 11 shortcut now in order to get a bold and italics what you have to do is you have to go and click on bold and italics in the font section and then and then the gets converted into bold or you can use the control i or control b right but there is one more shortcut that is hidden microsoft word and that is asterisk for bold 
so enclose anything that you want to get in bold inside extra and if you want to have italics so enclose all the italics text in between underscore right so the moment i press the closing underscore here so it gets converted into italics and bold but make sure that you have this options checked so there is special setting that you need to do and it is not enabled by default so go to the setting just press alt t a in quick succession alt t a and this will open auto correct option and then in auto formatting you have to make sure that this bold and italic with real formatting is checked and make sure that this is checked and then press press ok to use this kind of formatting or this kind of shortcut that shortcut is to get a quick bullets right so in order to get bullets we have go in bullets tab and then paragraph tab and then click on the bullets that is required but you can do it on the fly just make sure that there is a new new line and there is empty line above it right so just make sure that you start in here and to get this kind of bullet just press greater than sign and then tab to have this kind of bullet and to get a circle you just have to press asterisk and then tab okay so this is very nice and to get this kind of bullet just press hyphen and then tab so this gives you this kind of bullet i'll just close this symbol so that it is shown clearly and to get this kind of arrow just press less than sign and then double hyphen and you get this arrow and to get this arrow as a bullet you press tab again right so this was quick bullets and now going to this 13 shortcut and this i use quite often right so this shortcut is very easy and it allows you to increase the font size without moving going to the font area so to use this just select select the words that you want to change the font size and then press Control shift and less than key to reduce the font size and greater than key to increase the font size right so this is how you change the font size without leaving right this is how you change the font size in Microsoft Word very easily right Fourteen shortcut is to get an accent right now various requests or various suggestion uh, suggestion in my previous video to give the shortcut of different kind of accent right so in order to have a grave accent what you what you use is press ctrl and then apostrophe sign and then leave it and then type a desired alphabet right so this is an example of a grave symbol and you can go to this list this list is very big list so i made a separate video on how to type different kind of accents in microsoft word this was my 14 shortcut now moving to the 15 shortcut it gives you the shortcut way of typing greek symbol right so in order to type a lowercase greek symbol just type backslash and then type a greek symbol name a l b h a and then press space so it gets converted into a greek symbol similarly in order to type a uppercase greek symbol just use backslash and then type a greek symbol name like g-a-m-m-a and make sure that if you want to get uppercase greek symbol just the initial letter of a greek symbol name should be in uppercase and the remaining letter should be in upper, uh, should be in the lower case and once you are done you just press space and you get a greek symbol right so this is uh, one of the beautiful feature of math autocorrect and in order to use this feature you have to make sure that this kind of uh, one setting is enabled and open that setting you have to go to autocorrect option and i go in autocorrect option by pressing alt t a that is a shortcut for going to the to autocorrect option and in autocorrect you have to go to math autocorrect and here make sure that this checkbox the checkbox in front of use math autocorrect tool outside math region is checked so once this, this checkbox is checked and this option is enabled, you you are free to use this kind of shortcut, right? So that's all in this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and you will use it use this kind of shortcut, right? And if you if you want to see more such videos and get notified on my new video, I request you to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification icon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye bye.